just like music. At this conference, the Gills were celebrating 70 years of volunteer service for the National Urban League. I enjoy coming to this national conference. There's so much to see and a lot of wonderful workshops and conferences. But this is the time that the Gills, we come together to also do our planning at this national meeting. And what's the main focus that you want to get out there? Do you want to mostly talk about voting and how you can occupy the vote or what's your main purpose? That would be the main purpose, not only to go out and vote, but first of all, let's get them registered to vote. And yes, occupy the vote. We want everyone to get out and vote. This is a very important election year. We need your vote. And can you please just tell me what you're most excited about um, during this conference, what you've seen so far? Well, I'm most excited actually about the 70th anniversary of the Guild because they really embrace a lot of what AARP is about, volunteering, committed to your community, giving back to your community. This is a perfect stage for our two organizations to work together in partnership. So I'm excited about being here for this unique, unique anniversary of the Guild. What's your advice? I have learned that we can't relax, and I think a lot of young people take for granted a lot of things that have been fought for. Uh, and think that it comes naturally and takes little effort. Everything worth having takes a lot of effort and I just want to encourage young people, my three children included, to stay involved, to stay vigilant because things happen subtly and then by the time you pay attention it's too late. We need everyone to stay vigilant to understand that everything has an impact and that everything, even small things that we can do can have a, make a difference. Right, like the voting rights. Right? Like, uh, absolutely, absolutely. You need to make sure that you have laws being what they are. Yes, there'll be fights on that front, but you as an individual need to make sure you're prepared. You can't roll out of bed in November and assume that everything is together and that you'll be able to vote. You need to be focused now on what are the laws saying Saying I need to be able to vote to preserve this right that so many of our forefathers have, have fought for. Well I'm here because it is in town here in New Orleans and I pastor the New Zion Baptist Church here in New Orleans which by the way uh, was the place where SCLC was founded of course that before my time uh, but it is a historic uh, church and historic event but the Urban League uh, I believe along with the NAACP and other organizations are still relevant and they're viable uh, to the struggle of the day. So I'm glad they're here. I know they bring a lot of economic uh, development to our community, but their presence says a whole lot. Right, and with you being a pastor and being involved in the community, um, tell us your thoughts on voting this year and getting out to vote and how important that is. Well, I just left a meeting of ministers where we talked about that. Uh, we're having a problem here in New Orleans with voter apathy, believe it or not. And I think that's across the board. So it is important that we stress uh, the idea, the concept of dealing with voting. I said to a young man a few months ago, he said it doesn't matter about voting. I said, now nah, that's an erroneous statement. If it didn't matter, do you think people would have fought so hard to keep you from getting it? So even today, we need to stress it and we need to come out and not just to vote for President Obama, but there are local elections that are very important in all of our communities. Happy 70th anniversary, National Council of Urban League Guild.